Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can implement add to wishlist feature in your WooCommerce website. And for this, we are going to use a free plugin. This free plugin has a premium version also. So I'll install the premium version also. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you two more free plugins to add a wishlist feature in your WooCommerce website. This is the video that I have published before. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. So you can compare these two free plugins with the plugin that I'm going to install in this video. So let's go to the dashboard of this website and go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for WooCommerce wishlist. So this is the plugin that we are going to install in this video, YITH WooCommerce wishlist. In previous video, I have shown you how this plugin works, TI WooCommerce wishlist and how this plugin works, WPC smart wishlist for WooCommerce. Now we are going to install YITH WooCommerce wishlist plugin. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed. In the left hand panel, you will see this option YITH. Let's go to wishlist. Now we are on the general settings, enable Ajax loading. If you want to enable Ajax loading, you can enable this option and save the options. Next option is add to wishlist. So this is the feature that we are going to enable. Now general settings show add to wishlist button or show a view wishlist link after product is added to the wishlist. So when someone add the product into the wishlist, this is what it is going to show a view wishlist. So this is the option which is selected by default. Now this is the loop settings. Loop settings is nothing but your shop page. Show add to wish list in loop. That means show add to wish list on the shop page for every product. Position of the add to wish list in loop. So let me show you the loop here. This is the shop page of this WooCommerce website and you will see all the products here. Now you want to show the add to wish list for each product. Where do you want to show after add to cart button? So this is the add to cart button. So the wishlist button will be shown after add to cart. If you want to change the position, these are the options on top of the image before add to cart button, after add to cart button or use short code. Now, if you are using theme builder and you want to customize the layout of the shop page and you want to show the wishlist button at different position, then you can use the short code in the shop page theme builder. So for now, I'm going to select after add to cart product page settings. So this is the shop page. If I go to product single product page, you can show the button after add to cart here on the single product page. This is add to cart. It will show the button after add to cart like this. If you want to change it, you can change the position. These are the options after thumbnails, after summary, or use short code text customization add to wish list is what it is showing there you will see it here if you want to change that text you can change it from here after product is added this message will be shown product added browse wish list and product already in wish list if someone try to click on it again it will show the product is already into in your wish list now this is the style settings textual that will be anchor text you will see this anchor text if you want to change it to button you can change it to button theme style so i'm going to select this one theme style next is add to wish list icon this is the icon right now it does not show the icon if you want to change the icon you can change the icon from here so i'm going to select whatever it is here add it to wish list icon this is the already added to wishlist icon and custom CSS. If you have any custom CSS, you can add it here. Click on save options. Let me refresh the page and you will see it has changed to a button, which is a theme style button. So instead of a textual anchor, it is showing the button. Now let's go to shop page. And on the shop page, after add to cart, you will see this option add to wishlist. Now you can customize it, go to your theme settings and you can change the settings for the button and you can customize this button. Now let's go back and let's go to style and color customization. Here you will see another option button with custom style. 
you can change the color manually it shows this background color background color on hover let me change this to blue one right now let's save the option let's go back refresh the page and you will see new customize button let's go back go to style and color change it to textual anchor refresh it and you will see instead of button it is showing anchor text so these are the customization options available into the free version now let's go to wishlist page now it is going to create a page by default this, that will be wishlist you can select it will be already selected if you do not see it you can click on the drop down box and select the page where all the wishlisted product will show this save the options you will see different options here product variation selected by user date on which the product was added to the wishlist we will see how does this look a redirect to cart remove if added to the cart if someone add the product to the cart it will remove the product from the wishlist share wishlist so these are the options for sharing the wishlist so this will show the title my wishlist on param store this is the name of the website social image url text customization my wishlist add to cart All right let's save these options and see how does this look so i am on the shop page i'm going to add this product to the wishlist and after adding the product you will see browse wishlist click on it and it will go to my wishlist page if you want to customize the title you can customize it from here this is the title it is showing and this is the product shown in the wish list now if i add this product to the cart it will remove the product from the wish list now here you will see product variation if there is a variation selected let's select this option date on which the product was added to the wish list save the options and refresh the wish list page and you will see the date is added on the wish list page if i click on it it will go to the product page and it shows the product is already in your wish list go back to browse wish list if you want to add this product to cart you can simply click on it and it will get added to the cart all right so these are the features in the free plugin now up here you will see option get premium and you will see the features available in the premium plugin let me show you the website of this plugin yith woocommerce wish list this is the plugin and the pricing of this plugin is $99.99 per year so it does not mean that after a year the plugin will not work it will still work you will not get the updates and support after a year so these are the features in premium plugin allow users to create multiple wish list advanced wish list management different wish list layouts wish list widget in the header of your shop analyze customers wish list create targeted promotions and take advantage of wish list to increase the conversions so these are the features so let's go to plugins and click on add new i have this premium plugin downloaded i'm going to install it now install now all right click on activate plugin all right so the premium plugin is installed if you want to buy this premium plugin i'll give you the link in the description box and if there is any discount coupon available i'll mention that in the description box also so you can use my link to buy this plugin if you want to buy this premium plugin let's go back go to yith and go to wish list it is asking me to enter the license key i'll enter the license key later let me show you the features first so let's go to the dashboard the dashboard is changed and it will show the wish list right now it shows one wish list now let's go to settings here and go to general now you will see that the general options are also changed general settings you will see enable wish list for all users or only authenticated users so if you want this feature available only for the authenticated users you can select this option enable added or removed notices enable add to wish list tool tip so if you want to use tool tip you can enable this option and this is the ajax loading the next is add to wish list and you will see automatically add to the default list here you can create multiple wish list i think there is an option here 
So this is the option. Under general, you will see the option multi wishlist settings. Enable multi wishlist feature allow customers to create and manage multiple wishlist. They can create multiple wishlist for multiple purposes. Allow all users or only authenticated users. Add to wishlist. So here you will see automatically add to default list or give them an option to choose the wishlist. When product is added to wishlist, automatically close the model. So these are the basic settings in the premium plugin. These are pretty basics. You just need to see what are the options there. Next option is wishlist page. Now here you will see different options are available for the layout of the wishlist page. Traditional or modern grid. Show wishlist info. Number of items in wishlist. Date of creation. Download a PDF version of wishlist. Rename wishlist button. Create wishlist in pop-up. Let's enable this option also. Wishlist detail page. Let's select this one. So there are many different customization options here. I'm not going to go through all the settings. These are basic settings. You can read them and you can change the settings. Save options. Let's go back. Refresh it. Now you will see the change here. This is the model look. So I'm going to change this to traditional. All right, so this one looks good. Next option is ask an estimate. You will see ask for an estimate. Enable ask for an estimate. It shows a button on wishlist page if you want to customize the email that will be sent to the admin. Let's add more products in the wishlist. Let's add this one also. You will see wishlist option here. Create a new wishlist or standard. I have renamed it as standard. So I'm going to add this one to the standard. Close. Let's click on this one and let's create a new one. Public. And name will be demo. Close it. So we have got two wish lists now. From here, I'm going to select the wish list. All right. Now the next option is email settings. You can send email, manage and customize the email sent to user about wish list. So you can see these options are available. Wish list back in stock, wish list on sale item, ask for an estimate, wish list promotional email. So you can create email campaigns. You will see the content for these email campaigns. You can edit them. You can customize the email campaigns, your store tools. These are the plugins that you can install. So this is how you can add the wishlist feature in your WooCommerce website using the YITH wishlist plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.